good afternoon today we are discussing about array list so just open a project file new and project so this tutorial is for beginner so we have to put the name with array list list beginner So the program is array list for beginner. So the main thing with the array list is we have to include some classes, mainly the collection class having the array list. So we have to just include using system dot collection. So it has the definition of array. So we are just putting in our array system dot using system dot collection. Okay. So just we want to write some array elements. So first of all we have to do uh, write array list. Array list have some more name like list one equal to new array list. We are just defining the name of array. Here is the method add. So whatever we want, just. So just list add. That is the method for adding elements in the array list. So Amit Varma is the first element. So we just copy and paste for other friend list. So Amit. Vinay, Varma, Roli, Singh, and uh, and uh, the last one is. So this is of my friend list. What I have to do, I have to add one array with another list of array named list two. So just assign the list of array list two and put the some causes names like. List two dot and here we are going to put some caller's name car k c i t c i t we are having some uh, more color list. So all the colors are in Rajavad. So AKG and uh, so one is uh, my color. So just write the name of my color here. I am so now there is a two list of array array one and array two. So what I have to do I have to print list so we can just use the for loop for it but we are going to create a method now 
about printing the headless soldier define the method in static form as the static static is always used why because it don't have so array so array this is a method so we are doing the method and method also wants some parameters to pass in it so this is a array to pass in it so array array list and passing list name is this so whatever will be the in <coughs> uh array list so we are just using for each loop for printing all the array for each loop all the arrays are containing a string so we have to just mention here this <coughs> string this string i List. So it will display all the element of list, whatever we are having. So this is our control based application project. So we have to write uh, control dot write. Control dot write line. We have to use it for better. Because every element should be come into the new row, so we are just passing here i dot i. So it will show the element of i, <coughs> and after getting the output, we have to hold the control window. So we are using control dot. Read because it will wait for inputs. So here we are writing the code. So now we have to just show my array list. So just call the method into main program. Just show array. So array display all the results, but we have to pass. the list which one we want to pass so here we want to just pass right now let's so my caller list list to having containing in the caller list so if is passing list to so now build the solution so build the chiller so just we can run it yeah we are getting the list of caller list now in the same manner we can display our when list with the list passing list list one so just check it out yeah we are getting the same result as we are having in element in uh list one so amit is there amit is there when is there when is there rohit is there and karan jod is also there so all the elements are working so what i have to do i have to just add one array list into another array list so there is the method add rain so just uh write list one list one is going to add list two so we are using method list change list change and we are passing i collector means second object list 2 okay so is also having list 2 now if we are passing list 1 into the display as a result so we can get the our caller name and pen list in same manner so let's check it out yeah we are getting the desired result like uh, Wait a minute. 
Right. We are having the name and there is a sequence in our colors. So colors list. So now this is the uh, adding of two objects to a relation of one. So there is uh, some methods like salt and liver. So we just can salt and our array with writing the array short just you know to the add links so just like l this one dot short sh short short so maybe it works yeah maybe works and it will arrange the all the list elements into the alpha vector order so let's we check it out okay so a is coming first B is coming at the bottom of the result so we are getting a shorter list of a k z and all the other so it is shorter so suppose we want to just reverse of the list so there is a method which can reverse the list list one dot reverse it is then bottom so reverse the list so it will also work because first it sort the list and then it also reverse it so maybe we are getting a desired yeah we are getting a desired result which is v9 row and all the things are in sort and then in reverse so this is all about array reverse sorting but I want to just show you one thing that there is a method clear. So we can remove or clear the list element. So just let it check it out with the clear method. Yeah, it is clear. So suppose we want to clear whole list. So just put it out here. So when we are clear the whole list, so we don't get any result in our sorting and our reverse method. So just like check me out. Yeah, we are not getting any result. It means our clear method works. So I think it is a bit knowledge about how to write my code, how to use my array list. And using the method of parallel. So, it is end of chapter. So, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, friends.